Hello YouTube, my name's Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare in another episode of DNA Saturday, which is the weekly series here on my channel where subscribers send me a DNA bombs. That was the creative class we're using throughout the entirety of this gameplay. If you would like, of course, you can go back and pause the video so you can replicate the class for yourself, but at the same time, I'm going to be talking about the creative class a little bit throughout this video. The gameplay itself is pretty cool. It was sent in by a guy that goes by the name of Silent Ninja, which is funny because we had a Ghost Ninja that was featured on the previous episode of DNA Saturday, so it's like a ninja week almost. But what we got going on here is a game of uplink here on the map comeback running around with the mp11 i love the mp11 i'm kind of a closet fan i think it's one of those guns is something about it is so enjoyable for me to use even though i never actually do that great while i'm using the gun i just really enjoy using it so i really wanted to have it featured here on dna saturday it was actually going to be featured last week there was actually a different mp11 dna bomb that was going to be featured last week but the guy that sent in the gameplay turns out was really really rude to a lot of people so basically i had it all set up. You guys know what D you guys know how DNA Saturday works, where basically every single week I do two to three episodes, and this guy's DNA bomb was going to be the third episode. The video was already made, rendered out, ready for upload. It was it was good to go. Well, on the first episode of DNA Saturday that was uploaded last week, he posted a comment saying his gameplay was better. Why would I choose uh, that one over his? And then on the second episode, he just started calling me all kinds of names and stuff. He's being all kinds of rude. I was like, this guy's kind of a jerk. I'm not going to upload his gameplay. And even though I said in the second episode there was a third episode coming, there wasn't a third episode because that third episode was by the guy that was kind of a jerk to everybody. So I decided not to upload his stuff. So my dreams of having MP11 DNA bomb on DNA Saturday were kind of shot for a little bit until now. Until now, we have it here for this week. And I really wanted to have it. So I even kind of sacrificed a little bit of the quality for this video because the, the video that was sent to me was not in the, in the greatest of quality. And I also think there may have been some color correction or something going on because you look at the gameplay, the colors are really weird. I've tried to do my best to fix it, but I guess I did all I could. I did all I could. Hopefully it's acceptable for all of you guys out there. So what's, what's going on here? What's going on in this gameplay? So, like we said, we're playing a bit of Uplink. And Uplink spawns, I'm noticing, are very weird. Because he's inside this building, and the opposing team continues to spawn in there all around him all the time. It reminds me a lot of Demolition from maybe um, Modern Warfare 2, or especially during the original Black Ops. It was really prevalent in there, where if you got too close to the enemy bomb site, they would just spawn them, like, right on top of you. Like, you'll be seeing people spawning in the corner that he's in right now, and just constantly coming from there. And he's just, like, jumping up and down, going out and trying to take out everybody from this building. It's kind of crazy to watch. The crate class we're using throughout this is actually the way I like to run my MP11 except he also has extended mags on it and an extended mag is sometimes hard to get on the MP11 so I don't think I even have that yet but he's using grip, silencer, and extended mag. Great setup. You really want the extended mags when you're using uh, the MP11. For perks he's got low profile and peripherals. Two very good perks. Peripherals while it's not a standard perk it's not something you need to have it's a good perk nonetheless and low profile of course is a perk you should have. And we got blast suppressor and scavenger which scavenger is a perk I think I'm going to start running on this gun a little bit more because I do find myself running out of ammo on it pretty consistently because of the crazy, crazy fire rate. We're already just about at the end of the DNA bomb, believe it or not. He got all those kills there in that building. Now he's going to come over here because the opposing team kind of ran out and tried to make a push towards their spawn. He ends up getting the DNA bomb on them right there, which I thought was pretty cool. And just so happens, the end of the gameplay is just about to happen. Is anyone else noticing that this was a ridiculously high scoring game of Uplink? Or at least maybe I just don't play enough Uplink to really understand what the scores are generally like. But in the limited experience I have with Uplink, because I tried it and I wasn't very good at it, neither was my team. So it's like, let's go back to Domination, we're good there. But whenever we would play, the scores would be like 3 to 1. 4 to 2. Like, never was it like a 20 to 14 match or anything crazy like that. Maybe it changes depending on the map. I was even playing on maps like Detroit, and like the score would never really seem to get this high, but that was a crazy high score, and that was a very fast overall DNA bomb using one of my favorite weapons here in Advanced Warfare, the MP11. The final score there of 39 kills and 2 deaths. I thought it was a very nice gameplay. I love the MP11, and I wanted to feature here for DNA Saturday, so here it is. I hope you guys all enjoy it, and thank you once again to Mr. Silent Ninja for sending in this gameplay and making my dreams come true of having an MP11 DNA bomb here on DNA Saturday. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this week's episode of DNA Saturday. And if you did, please be sure to leave a ring where you guys feel the video deserves. And if you guys would like to submit your guys' DNA bombs for next week's episode of DNA Saturday, watch the video that's on your screen right now. There's an annotation that will take you over to that video, as well as a link in the video description, which will take you to that video. Both open up in a new tab. Very good stuff. And you can watch the video. The video itself will just tell you everything you need to know about DNA Saturday. It'll tell you how to submit your videos while I'm looking for. Uh, the rules you need to follow. Everything you need to know is in that video. 
so I suggest giving that a look if you would like to submit your sub for DNA Saturday. If you guys would like to go ahead and check out Mr. Silent Ninja, you can find him over at YouTube.com slash the Silent Ninja 2324. He's got himself quite the channel over there. So he posts a variety of content and all of it is actually centered around Call of Duty. Kind of similar to my channel. If you think of my channel, I cover a lot of different stuff, but I still kind of at the same time center my channel around Call of Duty. He really has it kind of the same feel over there. He does guides and walkthroughs and Q&As and he tells stories. He does live commentaries as well as he says great gameplay in general. He basically has everything you would look for in a Call of Duty channel, but it would be just a matter of you going over there and deciding whether or not his channel is for you. So go ahead and do that. Give his channel a look. Check that out and determine whether or not his channel is right for you. Never know until you try. So go check out his YouTube channel. That is once again YouTube.com slash the Silent Ninja 2324. Go ahead and give him a look. I hope you guys all enjoyed this week's episodes of DNA Saturday. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.